hey, this is Raul, please act right. In this video, I have two women who straight up play themselves. This is proof that men are no longer playing games out here in these streets. Before we get started, I'd like to give a special thanks to Tim Bright once again for your generous contribution on my channel through Cash App. Please know that your continued support is greatly appreciated. And now, with no further ado. So I don't know if this is a codependency confessional or not. It is a dating thing. Um, the first guy that I dated after I split from my ex um, wasn't responding as quick as I thought he should. Um, and I literally <laughs> threatened him with, do you know how many other guys are trying to date me? Like, give me an answer, yes or no, are we gonna hang out or not? Ugh. It makes me so embarrassed when I think about it. Um, a lot of that had to do with, you know, being in a very long relationship and being neglected for a very long time. And desperately, now that I was free, seeking attention. Um, yeah, and he rightly so said, maybe you should do that then, date other people. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> See, ladies, back in the day when women valued men, men valued women. But in this day and age, us men can take you or leave you. We just don't care anymore. And if you think about it, why should we? Because most women are using men like ATM machines anyway. So what did we learn from this video, ladies? You might not want to tell a man how many other men are interested in you. Because honestly, we really don't care. Go ahead out there and frolic with as many men as you want because most of us men are in one mindset. With you, peace is not guaranteed, but we have guaranteed peace without you. Aside from what life brings along, of course. Hell, Bob Marley made a song about it decades ago. No woman no woman now this one is my favorite. So after I gave him the ultimatum, he just looked at me in my face and was like, if you feel like you need to move, move. And so we went through three months of like chicken where I had no friends in Vegas, no family in Vegas. I just really blurted that out. I did not mean it. I had no intention. I had no job. I had nothing. I had no plans on moving to Vegas. I thought I was going to force this man to propose to me. For three months, he was like, do what you got to do. You want to move, move. So the last day I was putting my stuff in the car, he came over and helped me put my stuff in the car. And we putting stuff in the trunk and I just start crying. I'm like, you really gonna let me leave? He looked at me and he said, have a safe trip. <laughs> my man was on beast mode. Now, just in case you didn't catch it, let me tell you what happened. So they live in a state other than Las Vegas, right? So she <laughs> so she threatened him, trying to force him to marry her by saying, I'm gonna move to Vegas if you don't marry me. And my man responded like, hey, do what you gotta do if you gotta move, move. I'm leaving in three months. If you don't marry me, I'm gone. Hey, do what you gotta do if you gotta move, move. I'm leaving in two months. Do what you gotta do. I'm leaving in a month. So in the end, she was on the phone with him. I'm packing my bags right now. I'm leaving to Vegas if you don't marry me. You packing your bags right now? I'm packing my bags right now. Oh, damn. Okay, I'm on my way. Mm-hmm, that's what I thought. So she had to make it look real. So she went and got some bags and put some stuff in it and went out to her car. Dude pulled up. Oh, no, baby, oh, let me help you with that. And started helping her pack her car for the trip. Now she's sitting there going, is he really gonna help me pack? I mean, what are you doing? You gonna let me leave? My man was like, oh, and don't forget this bag because this right here is your makeup and your hair care products. Jumped in his ride like, deuces, have a safe trip. <laughs> that was straight beast mode. I wish I knew who this guy was so I'd call him up and be like, yo, man, give me a, give me a pound on that. <laughs> And if I was her, I don't think I would have told this story to anybody. And I guarantee you, while he was driving away, she was looking just like that. <laughs> so ladies, if marriage or a long-term committed relationship is what you're looking for, I wish you well. Because us men have no idea what you're going to turn into down the line. So to protect ourselves, we're going to either stay single and just have play dates, if you know what I mean, or we're just gonna stay by ourselves. So your ultimatums and your thang thang have lost their power. Now wait a minute now, don't get mad at us men because it was the women that started the rivalry with the I don't need a man movement. And speaking of the I don't need a man movement, 
Look for my next video, which will be about the independent woman. They getting tired already, y'all. And not just the older ones, the younger ones too. Miss Strong and Independent Women are finding out being strong and independent is not all it's cracked up to be. Hey, somebody had to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right? My name is Raul. See you in another video. He looked at me and he said, have a safe trip. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you'll enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared. <laughs>